So this is gonna be this is gonna be a really great story matchup. So we got, of course, the classic Garchomp versus Suicune. I mean, that's their mains, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it is a, a good idea that he that uh, Raspberry didn't go with Aegislash because that's his other main. Oh, okay. And Dale really likes playing against Aegislash, like, a lot. I mean, yeah, because he's Garchomp and can kill Aegislash in two touches. The problem is, a lot of people don't think Garchomp wins that matchup. I can... Okay, I can see it, because like, H-Flash kind of has a stupid neutral. He's a very stupid neutral, but... but Garchomp Dale... also just kills him in two hits, and can, if, he get, if Garchomp gets advantage in that matchup, Aegislash dies. Oh, yeah. Super. And, and it, oh. even, even if it is a little bit hard for Garchomp to get that advantage, Aegislash still dies if he gets it. Yep. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. So um, We got a really cool 2C80 scene to grab on from uh, Raspi earlier. And I, I was I fought Raspi earlier, and we're seeing a, lo seeing a lot of the same things, where he's just very good at keeping you out. Uh, he's going with the Mega Ray. Wait, I just realized he's using Mega Ray. Yeah, All right. good. But he usually right uses Miss Magius regardless of the matchup. Dig is good. Dig is good now? Dig is really good. Oh, nice. Tries to call it out, but gets there. double called out. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's going into Dig. I like no. how you can still see the charge in Dig. <laughs> you can still see the yeah. sex charge. It's hilarious. It's fine. It's fine. Not, you know, intended. Okay, all right. Nice counter there by Rasmew. Oh, he gets the quick counter that jump! A nice, like, OS for charge versus uncharge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, a partial charge might have beaten it, but... A, par a partial counter. Oh, yeah. No, probably. Um, he probably would have got him on a few... Uh... Or just no follow-up. That, yeah, that's probably the way, the way to beat it. Oh, yeah. It was a good move by Rasmew there. And with the dig, ready. it does get countered by it. It's good that he Rasmew didn't go with the jump. ready for what Dale has. Oh, definitely. Rasmew is really, like... Her, him and Fiora are really good at just seeing and like just yeah. reacting. Yeah. They are they just, are probably the best players in just backing off and letting you hang area yourself. For reaction. Oh yeah. You just wait and see what you do. And that's going up a little bit off track here. That's kinda why I that's kinda how I was playing against Fumu. I kinda mostly I kinda just waited what he was doing, but I did get a little offensive there. Yeah. Nice C A D C punished on the dig there. That's an optimal punish. And it, it's just it's looking like Rasmu has his number. He has his he has his number. He's gonna take him out to dinner here soon. He's he's waiting for that three day period. Oh, he's kind of zoning him out now. He can't dig either because Rasmu's just gonna notice it. That's his problem. Dale going burst. He's a little trying to trying to Dale trying to win this match, but just gets clutch. Oh, drops combo though. Wake up burst. I dare you. Wake up burst. He'll, he'd rather calm him into it. Oh, you know, oh, and Dale clutches this out. That's dead. That's dead. Uh, yeah, that is dead. Nice, bro. Nice job there. The SK Dale. Oh, oh, he missed. He missed time. No. He had that. He's left with one HP, though. And time up. Oh, I didn't realize the time. That was insane. Managing to change went. his number at the last second, but still losing it out. He changed his number, but Rasmu hacked into his phone. <laughs> he hacked into his phone and got the new number. Like, wow. Is, uh, Dale have a match Machamp? Dale does have a Machamp, huh? but he also has a Scissor. Okay. Scissor. Everyone says Scissor here, and it's making me want to say Scissor, but it's Scissor. Dan. Where? It's Scizor, clearly. It's Scizor. Size or Skizzer. Yeah, exactly. You got a pair of skizzers? Yeah. <laughs> you got a scissors? It's yeah, I have a scissors. It's R. I have a scissors. A scissors. Alright. Dale thinking about what he wants to do here. Oh, I'm going to the electrode fetch. I was using uh, electrode against um, Raps earlier, and it was working out fairly well. But I don't know if he's going to go for the fetch. The next best thing. Anyway. So no ma no changes on characters. Maybe there was a change in support or cheer skill or something. Uh, no, uh, Dale, Dale went fetch fetched Electrode. Let's see if he gives, it, it gives it away to the character. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, though. You didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't know. Yeah. Now it's on screen. Yeah. He switched to Farfetch now. Where I think... Rasmi also changed supports as well. I think Ooh, I don't remember what he did. But he, I'm curious about he's what running he's, a Mulga now. What he's trying to do is fetch. I, he's trying to just do like a regular. He's trying to do some like setups to where like you force your opponent into doing 
stuff that you want them to do. I guess, but I can... Electrode makes sense to me against Suicune. Oh, I don't yeah. see Fetch to... Like, Fetch works better against, like, Bracer. I think it's because he knows... Maybe Dale knows that his reaction game... That, that, that Rasmus' reaction game is doing a lot better right now. And that he may just have to... Re, he may just have to force him. He'll have to force... He wants to force him to go um, offensive rather than defensive that Rasmus is playing. Maybe that's what he wants to do. I don't know exactly. But um, that's... He's sitting on Fetch, and I don't... Okay, he's trying to trying to use the boy's way in. Call oh, there oh, that's what he's doing. He's calling a reaction. He's Matthew doing reactions. CA. Yeah, I know a lot of people do far fetch for forcing offense, so it's okay. It, it's very good if at so but, but it's not pressing CA. It yeah, is. So that's what he seems to be using it for. Which I can agree. With. Nice dig reaction there. Why Dale? Nice dig call out. Homing. Yep. Charge on homing. That's what's gonna happen. Shut up, Jim. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh! Uh, Austrian! Uh, something we're gonna get Paper Sack and Cillian! So, what, are we making fun of Florida again? I don't know. We should. Some they deserve Jin's it. Jin's making fun of us or something. Nice overhead! The so, Dale getting Brian the best Garchomp combo in the game. Oh, the most amazing that, Garchomp that, that is my favorite combo. It's amazing. I like it. Oh, okay. Nice grab there by Raspian. Oh. Doing the sneezes. Doing the sneeze, but actually like okay. going through with it. Cold fetch in neutral and Rasmus Gosh, right? yeah. jump over it. I think fetch is a lot better in neutral if you're using field phase my, myself. It, it's good in field phase at catching like breaks and pressing side Y. Yeah. That that's what it's really good for. But right. Ooh, Dale ready to punish that Amolga. Very strong. Nice very that was very good by the SK Dale there. SK Dale having a quite a bit of a life lead right now, but let's see if he can keep his own momentum going here. But but if Rasp can hold it back. Also, something else I noticed, I don't know if this was sandbagging, but Rass plays very, plays very conservatively with his first. He does. He, he doesn't like using it just as a reaction. He likes using it when he knows he's got the momentum going and as a reset. Right. He likes reset. Like, I, I, I don't think he used burst on, against me the entire time. My entire we, also, we also wanted to save it because he was up around and just in case. Yeah. And he knew he was starting to lose, so he wouldn't want to do it. No, I'm just, I'm just commenting on uh, he's, like not, he's on full meter and he's not using it for anything. It's not sandbagging. Yeah. He's, no, it's... No, no. That was just a comment. Okay, no, comment. you're good. Don't worry about it. Most people use it as a reset, or as, like, they want to save it because, like, they know they're up around, but they're losing the, the second round. So, like, why would you use it and then not have it next round when your opponent might have it? Right. And it's more satisfying to beat someone else's burst. But, in theory, if you have full burst, you're not getting the, you're not getting the resource benefits from winning a lot of other things that you might, right? Not, nah, but you're still so getting you're, a lot of damage, and... If you're by sitting on it, you're not doing you're not doing anything. Yeah, you're not. But yeah. you'd rather save it for a time when you really need it, or when you know you're ahead and want to like just okay, close that, it out. I can I can kind of see that, but you also get burst a lot quicker than you might think. Ooh, and Ooh that was that combo really bad. hard punish for that. I could probably not as strong a punish as he could have gotten. That there, was very minus. There's only one problem here with you. There's only one problem here now. Now that I see what you're saying, Dale does almost have burst here. Do you think, do you think uh, Garchomp's low stance to get burst out? There he was. Use and dig! There's... Wait, dig combos now? Yep. Oh, dang, yeah, that's Dig good. is a combo starter. No. I think on... only on... no, actually only, only on crit, in, I think. I'm sure. Only in... Crit, no, crit and burst. Sorry. Yeah, it burst. counts as a combo starter, yeah. so yes, it works completely. The only reason why it didn't work last time is because yeah. he was against the wall, so he had a, he was at a different angle. So, and, and here's where we kind of see what comes into play with what I was talking about. Rasmu lost that game and he didn't use burst once. He didn't. He sat on it the entire time. Well, he did. He, he, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Like, and now that, I understand. That could have like, got him. That could have helped him. Like, yeah. Because Dale ended up getting his burst later. I mean, maybe Rasmu just didn't want to use it. Right. It just... Right. I'm just saying that seems to be a limitation in his play. Eh, he uses it. Just... I think the. I think that might be his only thing. Though, is he doesn't like using it that often. Maybe. Tries calm. Tries using the. Tries punishing with the homing. They both clank. Gets the water. Well, gets the uh, geysers though. Dale using his movement right now. It's really nice. But Rasmus is just very good at keeping people out with those jump wires. Those jump wires. Ju speaking of jump wires in general are just amazing. Yeah, it's really good. It's super good. The angling is perfect. Ah, ah, okay. Thank you, Kalon. Kalon cl clarifying the dig. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Oh, uh! with the back X. Ooh, drops the combo. He's he ready for pressure. Ooh, isn't able to hit the vulnerable frame. No, Rasmus is just ready for that, and he's also ready for this. Mm, he almost has his burst, too. 
But nice. he's not gonna use it. What does it matter? Yeah. He's wrath you. Well, I wanna save it. This time, at this point, it's fine because you want to save it. Right, right. But I'm, I'm just saying that yeah. is not not a factor in most. You don't have that. You have to take into account most of that against him. You still have to take into account, but yeah. Maybe, maybe he'll use it this round. Maybe he won't because he knows it. But he still has a round to not use it. Maybe when he's really far ahead and he knows he has all the momentum that are going. Ready to that. just ready for the yellow side. Oh yeah, he's ready. Right also, this is game three. Yeah, just really back. <laughs> Game three, final round. Or no, round two. We're not ready for not ready for a roar beam. It's match point for Rasmir. Yeah. Six Y comboing. And this is he told me about this a while ago. It's like you if you hit six Y close if your opponent is close enough and you just hit that six Y or that jump Y, it'll yeah. it'll combo. Yeah, he got me with a few of those. Oh, and using the fetch very well to get to deal with that ice ball. Good reaction. That is a good use of fetch. I do. Trying to bully his way in, but Ooh, release X. Into another release X. Oh, hi, hi, Dergs. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow. And of there course, we have Dragon Rush. On a good, on a bad, well, it's because it was uh, used going, too Dirks? early. Yeah. No, the, it, the grab it, was used early enough to yeah. where I didn't have to punch yeah. it. And, and that's why Dragon if Rush sucks, because you can't have that happen. You have to, you have to, like, read it. They have to grab while you're doing it. For it to work. All right, counter. Ooh. Oh, oh and he ready? knew. He got with a 4X into 2X, 4 line into 2X. Dale is really hoping he's getting he can get this oh, win. And using his burst to seal this. Yeah, this makes sense. And yeah, that's sealer. Uh, he's trying to seal it, but that's he got the dig. Oh, what? And... That was Ooh, game. No, that's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's disrespect. Yeah. Oh, he disrespect. didn't. Yeah. Oh, right. he knew the time out. And Rasmu closing it out. Oh, hey, Kama. <laughs>